Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we're going to be talking about a Cronus True Image 2021 How To Series. We're going to continue with this product because it is kind of complicated in a matter of speaking, but easy at the same time. But I want to walk you through how to back up your computer. Now, as you see it right now, it's saying Workstation 3960X. All right, and the amount of storage required is 1.3 terabyte. However, you may not want to back up. I have a ton of drives on my computer, a ton. All right, a ton. I have, I have a lot of like six or seven drives. There's no way. There's no reason for it to be backing up all that data. All right, there's no reason for it. I don't want it to do it. I just want my OS. So if you look on the left hand side here, I already created two backups: one in the cloud and one local. Okay. The local is on a, on my drive, on the local drive L. I moved it, so it's going to fail when I try to click on it. And this is the cloud, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to actually create one right now, okay? But I want to show you how it's done, all right? So this is the reason why we do it. On the bottom of your screen, if you're following along, click the Add Backup, all right? It'll prompt you for what you want to name it, Okay? I'm going to say main drive. All right. And now we're going to click on this and say change source. And we want to do, we don't want to do entire PC because if you have multiple drives like myself, it'll back up every freaking drive you have on your computer. So we want to do is disks and partitions. This is what we're interested in. We'll click on this. And now as you can see, it's picked up my gaming drive, which is a separate boot drive, by the way, that's specifically for gaming only. So there's no reason for that. I don't need that backed up. All right. Not not now. If I wanted to do that, I could just click off that, click that. Okay. And now we back up my gaming drive, which I should do, which I plan on doing, but not right now. So we click on that. The Sabrent, Sabrent Rocket 4.0. Uh, PCI Express 4.0 drive, 500 gig. There is not a lot of space used on this. I cleaned it up the other day. All right, so we click OK. So we can change the destination, which we will. We're going to create a local one, which we're going to go here. I did a review on this device, actually. Uh, on the top right-hand corner of this, you'll, I'll, have, I'll show you the video of that. And now we just click on Backup Now. And this pops up. Now, if you wanted to, you could create a dedicated hard drive as your Acronis Survival, meaning you can have an external USB drive that is dedicated just for recovery, okay? So what it'll do is it'll, it'll create a separate partition and it'll be bootable. So you can boot off of this and restore from it so you'll have everything all-inclusive in one device versus creating a media creation disk or US bootable thumb drive type of thing that I talked earlier or yesterday's video. Okay. So in this case, we're not going to do, we're not going to click create because it'll screw up my drive because <laughs> everything that's on there will most likely be destroyed because it reformats your external drive if it needs to. And I don't want to do that. So be very careful here because if you have stuff on that drive, it'll go bye bye. So we're going to proceed with the backup. And then it'll prepare the data. And I'm going to sit here for a little bit because I want to see how long it takes. The external drive that we are um, copying to is a Type-C drive. And it is plugged into a USB 3.1 port. So it's going to hopefully smoke. All right, as you can see, it's backing up right now. We're getting some decent speed. And that's pretty quick. Now remember, so, so it'll take 11 minutes to back up or 11 minutes remaining. It's booking. All right, so it does help on the performance of the external hard drive that you're using. Um, it's backing up about 60 gig of data, right? So it's pretty neat that it's showing the amount of throughput that we are getting on the USB port. That's pretty impressive. It's actually going very quick. So someone said that this thing was a slow backup process. It's actually not. It's very, very quick. Um, I'm sure he'll be very surprised on how fast this actually is, but we have about six minutes remaining. 
The cloud backup, on the other hand, is limited to your upload speed. So whatever your upload speed is, is what your limitation is would be for your backup capability. So this is moving right along. So I'm actually, this is faster than I, than I expected. So crank it away here. Now I want to show you something that's really cool about this program. When you open it up, say for argument's sake, you destroyed a file and you want to restore, you can use this. So this is pretty neat. So you, you, you deleted a file, accidentally blew it up. It says, wait a minute, I made a backup yesterday. I don't have to restore the entire drive. I can just restore the file. So we can go to recovery. We can go to files. Okay. We can go into users, your folder, your documents, and any that you blew up, if say you did, I mean, if it's here, whatever, you can go and rec rec recover that particular file. And you, and whatever you highlight, like I have a label printer. It's like if I blew up a, a, a file or whatever inside of that, my labels. If I, if I blew up something here, I would love to be able to recover, you know, files from here. That would be great. Like I have, I, I don't think I created a, uh, that many here. Let me see. But you know what I'm talking about. So if, say if I was like I wanted to recover this, I go to next. Recover now. That's how easy it is. <laughs> That's all it is. And you recover that file from a backup. So you can go into the backup that you created and just recover the file that you blew up. That's pretty cool, man. I mean, that, yeah. I, you can't beat that with a stick here, guys. I mean, this is great, great capability here. And you can do the same thing with the cloud. So say I go with the cloud. I go to recovery. So not just local, cloud as well. Files. I did this last night. And there it is. Now I'm looking on the cloud. I am logged in. So I go to users. My thing. My, my username. And here's all my stuff. Now this is real time. We're looking at it right now in the cloud. And I can recover my files. Just say I didn't make a backup. That this is great. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing capability. Absolutely. So guys, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Please share this video as much as possible. In the description below to purchase this product if you see fit. And that is it. Take care, and we'll see you on the next video. Have a great weekend.